Shalom. All praises, blessings, glories, and honors to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha, Wadash. And double honors to my Ella apostles and Bishop Ellis of Great Millstone, who taught me this truth, as well as men of like mind. Shalom wa chasad, which means peace and mercy to the elect of the nation of Israel, when we so called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, and Israelite foreigners of the sea land of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And we're scattered here in America, which is Babylon the Great brought to you I say Shalom beginning with the 144,000 prophets and Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai willing this lesson is edifying my name is Kwan Awath, and in today's lesson we will comment on the verse of today which is the book of Revelation chapter 3 verse 20 in the GNT and these are the words of our Lord Yahweh Shai listen I stand at the door and knock if any man hear my voice and open the door I will come into their house and eat with them and they will eat with me and so What is the door? And what does the word eat mean? Right? What door is our Lord Yahweh Shai standing at and knocking at? And who will hear his voice? The elect of the nation of Israel. And so again, our Lord states, listen, I stand at the door and knock. That door represents the door of our minds, the door of our spirit. And our Lord, Yahweh, through Yahweh Shai, stands at that door and knocks and the Lord knocks on that door through his words that are prophesied and spoken via the mouth of his prophets that are on the highways and hedges and on the internet as it is written in the book of Proverbs the first chapter wisdom cries out she uttereth her words in the streets she crieth in the chief places of concourse in the openings of the gates saying how long ye simple ones ye love simplicity and fools hate knowledge that is how the heavenly father Yahweh through his only begotten son our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai knocks upon the door of our minds of our hearts of our spirit but only the elect of the nation of Israel will hear an answer if any man hear my voice and again who are they that will hear the voice of our Lord because we understand that within the nation of Israel there is the two thirds of the nation of Israel and 
the one-third of the nation of Israel, which is the elect of the nation of Israel. And only the elect of the nation of Israel will hear the voice of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, and open the door. That is to say, receive and accept this gospel, this truth, and apply it to the best of their abilities to their walk, to their lives, right? If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into their house, which this body, which our spirits dwell in, is likened unto an abode, unto a house, unto a temple. And we are, as it is written, the temple of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Right? That is the elect of the nation of Israel. And the spirit of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai dwells within us, within our temple, within our abode, within our house. And so we do not belong to ourselves. We belong unto Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Racha Kodash. And the Lord sups and eats with us continually. Our Lord said, I will come into their house and eat with them. That word eat means to study. Like the saying goes, food for thought, right? You are what you eat, right? So we are literally <laughs> what we eat. And also figuratively, what we study, what we mentally, spiritually consume. And what, what do we consume? What do we study? This word, this knowledge, all right? It says, I will come into their house and eat with them and they will eat with me. Because Yahweh Shai comes in the volume of the book that is the Bible in which we study, in which we eat. It is written of him. Did not our Lord Yahweh Shai in a parable say to eat my flesh and drink my blood? Yet you had Israelites that they thought he was being <laughs> literal. They thought he was being carnal. No. Oh, spiritual. Study him. Learn him. And apply his words. Because the whole book is written of him. He is the word of Yahweh. Going to the book of St. John, the first chapter. Also, this knowledge, this gospel, is likened unto a supper. And the inspiration for recalling that parable is from the word eat. And this is the book of St. Matthew chapter 22 verse 1 and Yahweh Shai answered and forgive me for any uh, excessive noise in the ambiance I'm in the move but anyway the book of St. Matthew 22 verse 1 and Yahweh Shai answered and spake unto them again by parables and said the kingdom of heaven is likened, excuse me, is like unto a certain king which made a marriage for his son. That king is the heavenly father, Yahweh, And his son 
as our Lord and Savior, Yahawashai. The marriage is the union between Yahweh Bahashem Yahawashai and the elect of the nation of Israel. The kingdom of heaven is this knowledge which is within the hearts of the elect of the nation of Israel. Right? And sent forth his servants, which the servants are the prophets, to call them, but them represents the Israelites. And they were bidden to the wedding, the wedding between Yahweh Shai, the lamb, and his bride, his wife, the elect of the nation of Israel. Because the Lord likened the nation of Israel unto a calmly and delicate woman, whom he has espoused, beginning with the elect of the nation of Israel, unto one husband, whom is our Lord and Savior, Yahawashai Hamashiach, the Lamb. All right? And they were bidden to the wedding, and they would not come. And so within the house of Israel, two-thirds of the nation of Israel, who, even after hearing the gospel of this knowledge, would not come. They would not come even after receiving the invitation. Again, he sent forth other servants, saying, other prophets, saying, tell them which are bidden, behold, look, I have prepared my dinner. My oxen and my fatlings are killed and all things are ready. Come unto the marriage, all right? The oxen and the fatlings, those are all metaphor for this knowledge, all right? Which we eat, which we study, which we consume with Yahweh Shai and through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim Racha Kodash. And all things are ready. Come unto the marriage. But they made light of it, right? So you have two thirds that have been making light and do make light of this knowledge, of this gospel. All right, of this spiritual invitation to the marriage supper of the Lamb. They make light of it. They think it's some kind of toy, you think it's some kind of fad, some kind of thing that you just, you know, you just do it just to do it. Oh, I'll get to it whenever I get to it. You know? They don't think it's serious. They make light of it. And went their ways. One to his farm, another to his merchandise. And the remnant took his servants and then treated them spitefully and slew them, right? So you have two-thirds of the nation of Israel that have murdered, that have, that have slewn the servants of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh the prophets. Right, whom the Lord sent unto them for their well-being. Could you just imagine the picture of that? <laughs> You're telling Jake that they're the greatest people on the planet Earth, above all of the other nations, and they scorn you for that. Eventually, they murder you for that. Ain't that something? But when the king heard thereof, he was wroth. Right, the Lord is pissed off. To this day, to this day. <laughs> to this day. The Lord is pissed off at you Negroes, man. The evil, the wicked of our people. To this day. Okay, it says, and he sent forth his armies and destroyed those murderers. The armies of what? Of whom? Of the angels. 
all right? Because it states in the 24th chapter that when Yahweh returns, the angels are going to be going throughout the four corners of the earth, sealing the elect. And to the others, going to Ezekiel, ninth chapter, <laughs> they're going to be slain utterly old and young, both maids and little children. And the Lord will turn his prophets, his servants, the prophets, into hunters from fishes. So the Lord is going to be sending his armies to destroy those that have murdered, that have slain his prophets. And he sent forth his armies and destroyed those murderers and burned up their city. And we understand that according to the biblical prophecy, this great city in which these murderers are reincarnated in, are reincarnated at, is this land, America, Babylon, the Greek, which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt, according to Revelation chapter 11, verse 14. This is the place where the heavenly call the Yahweh Peace and Yahweh Shai will judge all 18 nations. And that includes the nation of Israel. And within the nation of Israel, two thirds of the nation of Israel will receive great recompense, great judgment, great payback. Right? Even, yeah. You bad, so-called bad bitches. That's right. Your buff Jakes and your pretty women. They're going to be all getting slain out here. For the ones of them that ain't right. That's not up the left. So the Lord doesn't care how pretty a woman is. She can have, a pretty, she can have the prettiest face in the world. And the greatest shape. I just seen a chariot, literally. Wow. It was just bright. When I looked up, it, it, uh, it disappeared. Wow, the Wadi Al Bashimi, I was shy, man. And you know what? As I was doing this lesson, you know, demons was attacking my mind. You know, saying all kind of bugged out, crazy bugged out shit, man. But in the name of Yahweh Bashimi, I was shy. I rebuke all those thoughts. And Satan, Satan could take a fucking hike. You know, they're doing their job, but you know. Take a fucking hike, man. In the name of Yahweh, by Shimei Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. My man Canelo be saying. But anyway, <laughs> just having some fun and, you know, digressing a little bit. But uh, it reads on to say, uh, And when the king heard thereof, he was wroth. He was pissed off. He sent forth his armies and destroyed those murderers and burned up their city. Then saith he to his servants, The wedding is ready. But they which were bidden were not worthy. Right. Many are called, as it is written. But few are chosen. You have those that the Lord will call that are not worthy to be bidden, to be delivered. When the Lord returns to marry his elect. I pray that I am of the Lord's elect because I am called, but I pray that I am also chosen, as do you brothers as well, you sisters. For many are called in the book of St. Matthew, chapter 22, verse 14. Few are chosen, right? That's why the apostle Peter said to give diligence to make your calling and your election sure. All right, all we have is all we have is this truth. All we have is Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. We have nothing else, man. Okay. So, the reason to say it's a lot here. Verse 9, Go ye therefore into the highways, and as many 
as ye shall find, many as ye shall find of the house of the elect of the nation of Israel, Israel of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai, bid to the marriage. So those servants went out into the highways and gathered together all as many as they found of the elect of the nation of Israel. All right. First and foremost, both bad and good. Why? Because in the end, the angels will make the separation. The Lord is going to make the separation. The Lord sifts the house of Israel constantly. And the wedding was furnished with guests. And when the king came in to see the guests, when the heavenly father the Yahweh, through his son Yahweh Shai, came in to see the guests, and remember, the Lord said, both bad and good. <laughs> and when the king came in to see the guests, he saw there a man which had not on a wedding garment. Mm. This man was not clothed with the gospel, with the truth, with the 100% truth. That's what the wedding garment represents. It represents the purity, the 100% purity of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh's doctrine that is taught unto his elect by the elder apostles and bishop elders, elder brothers on down of great millstone and to men of like mind that follow the apostles doctrine which is Yahweh Shah's doctrine Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah's doctrine which we teach unto the elect of the nation of Israel right and so this particular individual didn't have on a wedding garment. After all, it is a wedding, so I have to dress for the occasion. But he wasn't. And he said unto him, Friend, how camest thou in hither not having a wedding garment? So how the hell, so why would you come in here without a wedding garment, man? What's what's wrong with you? Okay, what's what's wrong with you, man? Not having a wedding garment, and he was speechless. He was just standing, oh, um, you know, just standing there, speechless. Then said the king to the servants, bind him hand and foot, and take him away, and cast him into outer darkness. Get this, this reprobate out of here, out of my sight. Get him out of here. He's not welcome. He's not, he's not, he's not dressed. For the occasion he's not in, in, in uh he ain't right okay he ain't right <laughs> cast him in out of darkness there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth for many are called but few are chosen so many are called many are going to be called to this to this wedding but few only few will be chosen and man this is one of the the um the precepts that I always remembered, you know, growing up in the faith, man. Still growing, still a babe, still learning every day. You know, still desiring the sincere milk daily. Because everybody forgets the milk. Everybody want to be deep, space nine, all deep and shit, but they forget the milk. Scripture says to desire the sincere milk that you may grow thereby. It's not about, you know, knowing, uh, having a good, good, great memory to, to, to remember the breakdowns. Now, that's great if you do that. The Lord gave, gave you that gift, but it's about living these words, man. Applying these words to the best of our abilities in our walk. All things that the Lord has given us, has gifted us is for the forwarding of the ministry and the edification of the church, the edification of the elect, okay? So many are called, but few are chosen. And I pray that I am chosen 
as well as you brothers and a few sisters, man. All right, so with that, I pray this lesson has been edifying. Again, this is the book of Revelation, chapter 3, verse 20 in the GNT. Listen, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into their house and eat with them, and they will eat with me. In the KJV, it says to sup, which sup means to eat, which the word eat means to study. All right? And so with that, I say shalom unto the elect. I'll catch y'all, Lord's willing, in the next uh, walk and talk. Shalom. Until next time, Lord's willing. Until the next lesson, Lord's willing. Shalom.